We light the dark We can do everything, everything, everything So hold on, don't stop There's so much in you Is a day we can do anything, 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 and all our dreams light up the way we can have everything, everything, everything. So stand up, don't stop the past is in you. Hello my dear students, a very good morning to everyone. I'm sure that all of you are fine and uh, your parents also are safe. Now once again I'd like to thank all your parents, many of, you, many of the parents attended the meeting. So I'm so happy about it and they shared some valid points. My advice to everyone is please improve your reading habits, particularly I'm talking about uh, the fifth standard, sixth, the seventh students, you have to be very careful about it. If once, if you don't read, improve your reading habits, and I'm talking about seventh particularly, they really need to improve their reading habits and also writing habits. If you improve that, if you have a very good knowledge on reading habits, you are going to become a professional in future. It all depends whether you are thorough with your reading habits and the writing habits people will always judge the character sometimes in our writing so be careful about it and now you should think of where you want to be after some 15 years down the line it's all up to you so read well study well your parents are there to support we teachers are there to support if you find any problems within your education or your communicative skills please do contact us and you can get the clarifications done now let's find out what is there in the video good morning my dear children today let's know something about nouns page number 11 my dear children you need to understand that fourth standard grammar book for last year will be taught to 5th standard this year. So those who are studying in 5th standard, please be aware that this particular, please understand that this particular lesson is already there for you during your 4th standard. Now again, I'm just repeating this so that it will be understandable for you and most of them will be having this book. That's my reason. Now let's go through page number 11, nouns. To begin with, uh, write P for proper nouns and C for common nouns. Now here, what is happening is uh, lion. Lion is known to be a common noun, right? There are many animals, am I right? In that wild animals, uh, lion is always uh, the leader, am I right? So now lion is classified as many lions. However, if we put a name, if we call this particular line by a name, say for example Leo, then that is known to be a proper noun. But here, the animal is mentioned as lion, so we need to write down C. Write B for proper nouns and C for common nouns is what the question. Next, rose is there. Look, there are many roses. I mean, right, different, different red rose. If it is red rose, say hybrid rose 
like that if it is shown then we can name them as proper noun but here it's only row so we have to write down common noun so we have to write down c next kailash satyarthi look this particular uh, kailash satyarthi means a name of a person so we have to write down p because it is a proper noun or a special name we say next number four also the gateway of india we we name it as proper noun because it's a place but we named it the gateway of india and we can also find number five pv sindhu who is a famous badminton player for that the name is already given to a particular person who is a sports person so we have to write down proper noun so we have to write down p next bird is there which is common noun sparrow it is so if we name that sparrow something then it will become a proper noun so it is a common noun as of now next charmina charmina is also a place it's a monument so we have to write down p proper noun next is uh, kutub minar even that is also a particular monument so we can write down as p next page number 12 page number 12 you know that a common you know that a noun names a person a place an animal or a thing aranya lives in chennai the kitten is playing with my toy common nouns are the names of people places animals or things that are of general class or kind say student it's common noun am i right if we name that student like say um basil or uh, um suraj or uh, johnson then we can say that is a proper noun but it is a common noun because it's just mentioned as student next city so it's common am i right hose even that's common next book even that is common now instead of that if we name a particular city as kolkata then it is a proper noun horse say for example alexander if suppose one particular horse name is alexander then we can name it as a proper noun but here it is common noun proper nouns are the names of the particular persons places animals or things they begin with the capital letter rabindranath tagore is the name of a person so we call them as proper nouns next kochi i already told that like city if it is kochi or kolkata whatever we name it then it is if we name that common name common noun if we name the common noun then we call them as proper noun next peter rabbit look rabbit is an animal so it is common am i right now we gave it a name gave that animal a name so peter the rabbit's name is peter so peter rabbit means it's a proper noun similarly star wars star wars means it's a name of a program say or a book the names of the days of the week and the months are also proper nouns example wednesday january so that is name of a week it is so it's like uh, days days means name of a day means wednesday name of a week first week second week like that and the months means example january february all those are named as months so that particular names which we give is known to be a proper noun now let's do an exercise from a in each set circle the words that are not nouns number 1 cat aeroplane eat delhi so we have to circle which are not nouns here eat is known to be a verb so we have to circle it number 2 we have a swim a verb it is next number 3 talk remaining are like partner dog and pen so here which is like not a noun that is talk as a verb we have fourth one ritu nagaland slow telephone so here we can find it as slow so it is verb 
ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ సాహిల్ రీడ్ చండీగఢ్ ప్రేమ్చంద్ సో రిమీనింగ్ ఆర్ ఆల్ నేమ్స్ ఆఫ్ అ సిటీ అండ్ అండ్ ద పీపుల్ సో హియర్ వన్ ఇస్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇట్ వాట్ ఇస్ దట్ రీడ్ రీడ్ ఇస్ అ వర్బ్ బి రైట్ సూటబుల్ కామన్ నౌన్స్ ఆర్ ప్రాపర్ నౌన్స్ టు కంప్లీట్ ద టేబుల్ నౌ సిటీ న్యూ ఢిల్లీ స్టేట్ కేరళ యూ కెన్ రైట్ డౌన్ స్టోరీ ఆలస్ ఇన్ ద వండర్ల్యాండ్ కంట్రీ ఇండియా నెక్స్ట్ ఇస్ డే ట్యూస్డే school presentation 7th one month january 8th one friend amar next we have c circle the proper nouns and underline the common nouns in these sentences what we have to do here is we have to circle the proper noun we can find that my favorite author is jk rowling number 2 that lady is a vanya's mother vanya is a proper noun next uh, third one mrs aya is a new neighbor what we have to do here we have to draw like uh, proper noun and common noun so we have to underline common noun and uh, circle the proper noun so neighbor you should underline next fourth one the new student is from australia so student you should underline as common noun and australia as a proper noun because it's a name of a country similarly the fifth one and sixth one and seventh one also now here we can find like sixth one we can find chandigarh monday rock garden these will come under proper noun am i right so here v are common so we can underline v rock means usually we can also consider as a common noun okay now seventh one july has 31 days days we should underline because it is common noun now july is a name of a month so it is a, a proper noun the nouns refer to only one person place animal or thing baby school puppy pencil these are all known as singular nouns plural nouns means b a b y y will be converted into i e s so babies it is b a b i e s next school schools we should write down like puppy means y again it is rising so we have to instead of y we have to write down i e s even story also we have to write down stories similarly okay pencil pencils we change singular nouns into plural in different ways by adding s cat cats cup cups what else then board boards book books like that by adding es to nouns that end in s s s s h c h and x are like bus buses church churches box boxes by adding es or s to nouns that end in o like o means automatically we should write it into es so like buffalo buffaloes zoo zoos by removing y and adding ies to nouns that end in y city c i t y city so we have to write down ies y whenever it will come then we have to convert it into ies to make it plural we can find cherry cherries berry berries like that by removing f or f e and adding v e s to nouns that end in f or f e f e like knife knives wife wives like that calf calves like that some nouns are spelled differently in plural forms shelf shelves foot feet man men woman women like that some nouns remain the same in their singular and plural form like deer deer only sheep sheep even fish also we have to write down fish only not fishes so like that we can learn it next is uh, page number 14 14 my dear children i just left it in blank so that you can listen and write down this one number 1 there are ducks you already means what we have to do here we have to convert this into plural form 
hint is given within bracket that is mentioned as a singular form we have to write down in plural form and fill it up there are ducks and geese in the pond number two there are there are three books b o o k s books you have to write and two pencils in my bag we bought apples and strawberries here s t r a w b e r r i e s you have to write down from the market we also got some toys t o y s toys for the baby fourth one the dentist checked my teeth plural will be like a singular will be tooth and it will be converted into teeth for plural fifth one fifth one there are mice there are m i c e you have to write down in the store room now e circle the things that uh, ratna should pack in the picnic basket write their plural forms you have to write down plural forms like ratna should pack spoons next pineapples mangoes m a n g o e s mangoes next carrots c a r r o t s carrots glasses g l a s s e s glasses next bowl b o w l s bowls you have to convert it into plural next we can write down umbrellas u m b r e l l a s umbrellas next we can write down what else we can write down we can write down table tables fine what else they need to fork forks fine so like that we can write down in this particular blank ratna should pack spoons and after that you have to write which i told you next page number 15 look at the pictures and answer the questions how many apples are there in the basket can you count the juice in the jug can you count the rice in the bowl we can count some noun common nouns they are known as countable nouns there are nine apples in the basket so that is what so we have to convert that into countable nouns many children are taking part in the play we cannot count some of some other nouns they are known as uncountable nouns there is no water in the tank please don't put sugar in the milk look which are uncountable like sugar is uncountable and milk is uncountable water is uncountable am i right so that is what it's mentioned there f f next is f circle the uncountable nouns in each set number 1 juice bicycle puppy house so which one is uncountable juice is uncountable number 2 book car sand lamp so you have to circle sand s a n d sand you have to circle next three chair floor baby pen so you have to circle floor next is a table plate sugar shoes so you have to circle sugar fifth one cat water ball kite so you have to circle water nouns that name males of persons or animals are of the masculine gender like uh, names nouns that names males of person or animals are of masculine gender like boy is a masculine gender brother is a masculine gender means males they are king and tiger nouns that name females of persons or animals are feminine gender girl sister queen tigress so that is the end of page number 15 now next page number 16 nouns that name both males and females are of the common gender cousin teacher friend neighbor next what else can be write down doctor even that is also common gender engineer both boys and girls will be there am i right driver even driver also both boys and girls will be there pilot even that is also common gender next nouns that name neither males nor females are of neuter gender like bag shoe ball phone wood 
bed, house, those are all neuter genera. Depending on this particular knowledge, we have to do the exercise G. So it's already done for you, my dear children. Just note it down. Understand yourself and write down. Even H is also done for you. Anyway, I'm going to read it for you. Change the underlined nouns into their opposite genders and rewrite the sentence. What you have to do here is underline this already they like woman. So instead of that, you have to write down man. Queen means king. You have to write down. Number two, my father and his brother are twins. Now my mother and her sister are twins. You have to write. Similarly, you have to change the gender and you have to write down my children. Page number 17, there's a, there's a details about, there's a detail about a noun. A noun used to name a group of persons, peoples or things are called collective nouns. Like a group of people, group of animals and all, no? we name them as collective nouns. A team of players, a bunch of grapes, a flock of birds, a school of fish, these are all known as some of the collective nouns. Now I fill in the blanks with the collective noun from the box. It's done for you my dear children. It's from the answer box. We are finding it and we have to write down that. So please write down that also. A possessive noun shows that something belongs to someone. To make the possessive form of a singular noun use an apostrophe and the letter S. Apostrophe comes after the noun and before the S. Anu's car, the car belonging to Anu. The baby's toy, the toy belonging to the baby. Similarly, you can write down any examples if you want. But my dear children, this page number 17, possessive nouns show that something belongs to someone. The down one paragraph you have to write down in a communicative English notes. And even the page number 16 on the top, nouns that name both males and females are of common are of the common gender that also you have to write down till phone bag shoe ball and phone you have to write down that so these are known to be possessive nouns which we are going to learn further now page number 18 for the possessive nouns of a plural nouns use the apostrophe after the nouns the teacher's room the room of, of the teachers the dog's bowels, the bowels of the dogs, like that. If a plural noun does not end in an S, use the apostrophe and ES. Men's clothes, clothes of the men. Children's books, books of the children. Now J, add apostrophes where needed and rewrite these sentences. We are going to Amman's birthday party. So that you have to write down number two, my mother's sari. So now we have what you have to do here, my M O T H E R apostrophe yes you have to write down. So mother's sari is made of silk. Third one, that peacock's feather. Now peacock's means s you have to write down. I mean before that you have to write down apostrophe. Feathers are colorful. Next fourth one, my parents' wedding. P A R E N T. Yes. And after that, what do you have to do? We have to write down apostrophe. Parents' wedding anniversary is tomorrow. Next fifth one, this is Sanjay's room. So before Y, after before yes, you have to write down apostrophe. Sixth one, the teacher checked the student's notebook. Student's notebook. Now here student's notebooks means many are they, not one student. So you have to write down apostrophe you have to use apostrophe or you have to write apostrophe after yes s t u d e n t s and after that you have to write down apostrophe now k in each sentence if the possessive noun is used correctly put a tick if it is incorrect write it correctly sheep's wool is used to make sweaters so sheep's s h e e p apostrophe s is correct these bats are of are for the girls cricket team now here that is wrong actually g i r l s and after that you have to put apostrophe then cricket team you should write so g i r l s and after that apostrophe you have to use salma's 
aunt as my teacher Number one salmas means here yeah, you have to write down s a l m a and after that apostrophe s salmas aunt is my teacher Now, since fourth one this is mrs sense car now s e n apostrophe s you have to write so you have to correct it fifth one this is my grandmother's purse that is correct with this my dear children we have come to the end of the lesson now thank you fine so hope every one of you understood something from my video and if you didn't understand again rewind again you can go back to the previous start session and or else you can again start the video start watching the video again and again then you will understand reading habits are very important so please please improve your reading habits through reading habits only we will get a very good control over the spellings too and improve your writing so hope my children definitely follow my suggestions so it's me anup signing off goodbye